Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm back in the garage. Uh, last video, I gave you guys an introduction on the cabbie. Uh, in this video, uh, we're actually gonna start working on it. So, it's currently 7 p.m. about. It's also pretty cold in here. It's around minus five degrees Celsius outside. It's a little bit warm in here though, and I have a little heater in the corner here. In this video, I wanna try to get uh, the engine bay ready to actually pull the engine. So I'm gonna be disconnecting anything that's attached to it, any hose, any wires, uh, the exhaust, the shift linkage, and anything else that's probably the axles, anything that has to be uh, taken apart or removed. So here's the car. First thing I wanna do is uh, obviously jack it up. And I want to drain all the fluids. So I'm gonna be draining the oil, draining the coolant. Uh, probably eventually gonna have to drain the power steering fluid because I'm probably gonna cancel the power steering. I'm gonna leave the brakes, I'm not gonna drain the brake fluid uh, just to kinda save some time. I'm not really gonna be touching the brakes at all, so uh, that's fine. I gotta jack the car, however, this is what they say is a low profile jack, however, um, it doesn't actually fit under the car. I have small ramps that I can uh, drive up just to jack the car. I just put the drain plug in just back for now, just so I don't lose it. Uh, oil filter that went right there is out. Uh, now I'm gonna be draining the coolant. And to do that, I'm gonna disconnect the lower radiator hose, uh, which is this one right here. Uh, I'm probably gonna disconnect it here since that seems to be the lowest point. So hopefully that'll drain all the coolant. I'm not gonna tape this just because uh, this is probably gonna make quite the mess and I don't wanna risk getting coolant all over the camera. So I'll do that and I'll come back. out I'm gonna be removing the coolant tank so I can just unplug that sensor there uh, the cap can stay I'm gonna undo this hose here Is out as well as uh, the 
intake hose. Uh, now what I think I'm gonna do is actually remove the radiator completely and the fan assembly. Uh, it's gonna give me quite a bit more room in the front to work. Next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to disconnect the AC lines from the uh, compressor. Also, I want to remove the condenser completely, so to do that, I'm going to remove the front grille and the headlights. I'll have better access to that. So now as you can see, the grill's off, headlights are out. Um, this is one of the connections I have to undo to be able to take this out. There's also a nut up here, same on the other side, and then this should come out. Um, there's also this connection here that I'm gonna have to undo. So hopefully they're not too seized up. I'm gonna give it a shot, see how it goes. steering pump is out uh, as well as the brackets after I did that the SD card in the camera uh, was full so it stopped recording so I took the opportunity to remove pretty much the entire harness so essentially the entire harness which is here uh, has been disconnected from the engine so all the various sensors I also made sure to label everything so uh, they all have little labels so that I know where it goes when I go to put it back together. We're almost done under the hood. Uh, last thing, well two things I have to do for sure, or three rather. Uh, these vacuum hoses have to be disconnected from the throttle body. Uh, I have to disconnect the shift linkage in here and also disconnect the fuel lines. And then after that, we're gonna go under the car. Uh, this is the supply 
and there's the return underneath. Those are both disconnected. I also disconnected the vacuum hoses here uh, from the throttle body. Uh, I'm gonna leave the shift linkage in for now, just in case I have to put the car in gear or whatever. Um, so now I'm gonna disconnect, I'm gonna remove the axles from the transmission. I'm probably gonna keep the axles on the hub. I'm just gonna disconnect the tranny side and let them uh, hang on the subframe. So we're gonna take the wheels off and we'll do that. Okay, so the wheels are off. Now to remove the axles on this car, there is six bolts, like this one, all around. And they are M8 triple square. So it's these guys here. Um, triple square, 12 points. Uh, this is it. It is not Torx. Do not try to use Torx. You're gonna strip them. All right, so both axles are out. Um, let's see here. It's all loose. Same with the other side. I didn't record it just because this was a pain in the ass. And uh, couldn't quite get camera to focus where I wanted it to. This took about 20 minutes to undo 12 bolts. So quite the process. It's kind of a pain in the ass to get in there. Okay, so I have my phone here for light. This pin has to come out and then this should just push right out. So that's gonna get disconnected. And then there's also this all the way back here. This just has to be pried off. It's on a little ball. Uh, you essentially just pry that off. And then after that, uh, the shift linkage is gonna be disconnected. So let's do that. I'm gonna try to set up the camera. Guys, we are pretty much done uh, preparing everything to pull the engine. Uh, the only thing left is going to be uh, the exhaust and the motor mounts essentially. Everything else has been disconnected. So that's going to be that for this video guys. Thank you for watching and in the next video we'll be pulling the engine.